Hey guys, so when you buy a table saw, especially if it's a slightly cheaper brand, one of those Chinese brands, I have an Inco one, it could be Toto, Prescott, or many other ones around in the market, the main issue that you'll face is that the fence that comes along with it may not be up to quality. It may not adjust well, or it may not remain in its position properly, which is the biggest problem. So in this video, we discuss how to solve that problem, and that is to make your own table saw fence. The way I make it is very easy, very cheap and very quick. So that way you can buy any table saw and just make your own fence and make it quite worthy and be able to get straight cuts and accurate cuts very easily. So come on, let's go, check it out. As you know, I bought an Inco table saw. So this table saw is pretty all right. It's not that bad, except for one major issue that I have with it. And that is the table fence. You see the fence, when you lock it in, it doesn't remain there it does it moves it sways a little it goes up and down a little like here and also a little to the left and right it still moves so the locking mechanism is not good at all and although i'm holding it wrong side here this is just a demo i'm not actually locking it because i took that part out but uh, i need a new fence so what i'm doing is i'm gonna make my own with plywood this is a straight piece of plywood the only straight edge i have right now is my big level so i'm gonna clamp that down i measured it from the miter slot to make sure that it's absolutely equal from the left and right so I get a straight cut piece. I'm using my Makita circular saw and I'm gonna cut out a quick piece that's gonna be either the bottom or the perpendicular side. So I have one piece there, then I'm measuring again to get the same size piece and uh, again I just double check and I use the piece I already cut as a straight edge this time because I know it's straight. I clamp it up and I take a double measure just make sure that it's the right size then I take a triple measure from the miter slot as well you just want to be quite accurate on this and then I cut this as well this is one of my favorite parts I love cutting wood with circular saw so now I've got the piece they look great I'm just gonna do a quick rough check of the 90 degrees and it's absolutely fine I'm satisfied I'm happy so I just line it up with my riving knife and my table saw blade just to check it and then I cut it to length because I don't want it to be too long I do need it to protrude a little from both sides of the table fence but uh, that's good then I cut these small blocks I wanted these as just uh, some support and uh, I use them so that it has something to lean on and glue on to more I just quickly filled glue into a sketchup bottle which I use and I love gluing this just feels really um, pleasurable it's one of the good parts of woodworking when you get to squeeze glue out and it makes a perfect line. And then I'm going to put this together. I'm going to put some pressure on it. I'm going to make it 90 degrees, do a 90 degrees check with my Swanson square. And after that, I clean up the white glue and I clamp it. So this is a light clamp. Then I check the 90 degrees again and I realize the clamps have kind of taken it out. So I'm going to remove the clamps and just uh, leave it as it is. It's already stuck together pretty well. I'm not going to clamp this. It's got a good 90 degrees right now. It's perfect. I wait for a day and the next day I come and uh, the basic part of the fence is made. Then I get out my crosscut sled and I cut out a piece that I need for the sides that will attach the fence to the front and back of the table saw. And I actually make this thinner so I get to use my fence. I just clamp it up and uh, this is the first time I'm using it but I, am going, I haven't made the system that it attaches to the, the table saw yet. So I just, there, I rip out this thin piece and now this will become the top and the bottom as you can see I've clamped it just temporarily so I can screw it. So it's aligned with my table saw blade, which is so important, so I know it's straight. It's aligned with it, everything I cut is gonna be straight, aligned with the blade. So now I'm just gonna screw in two holes and put two screws in each side. Then I do the bottom side as well, and it seems to be working good. One thing you have to note is when you do this, you have to push in these left, this front and back planks so that it's a tight, snug fit for the fence. It should not be loose at all. 
and it really works that way it doesn't sway it doesn't move a little even a millimeter left or right so now my fence is working it's great um, yeah it doesn't have a clamping mechanism I have to use clamps but the good thing is I get straight cuts now so I'm very happy and it fits perfectly it doesn't move it doesn't sway it's very accurate now and I'm perfectly happy and the best thing is it's aligned with my table saw blade so everything that I cut will be according to the blade and this fence it's gonna be straight this is me just making sure everything looks good so basically my fence is made I'm just gonna do a quick demo here I'm gonna clamp it up because I'm gonna have to use F clamps whenever I need this yes that's not so convenient but it's only an extra 30 seconds to a minute and I don't mind that as long as I get clean straight cuts so this is how I would use it. I'm not gonna turn the blade on or the saw on right now because sawdust is gonna be a problem. I don't have a shop vac or anything right now. So I have to clean up a lot after whenever I use it. So I'm just doing this as a demo. This is how I would use it. I just take a measurement and then I clamp it up and I can cut. Here I am just showing you as an example how I would cut any piece of wood. I'm using the push stick I made in the last episode and it looks good it's straight i'm very happy it's superb so this is my table saw fence i really hope you liked it you can also build one as well if you have a cheaper table saw and the fence sucks this is a great easy cheap diy you could do within a day so i totally encourage this i'll show you a quick clip of me actually using it which is here so this is my table saw fence Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, stick around for my other videos. Take care. See you.